Hey, hey, it's David here at Toysilla. <laughs> I know I am starting late today, uh, but I still wanted to do my show. Uh, it's Marvel Monday, which means uh, normally I will just focus on uh, Marvel or something related to Marvel. And we do have some new Marvel stuff here. Uh, but we also are going to focus on two items that uh, have nothing to do really with Marvel. Uh, Battleship and Mad Scientist, uh, which are two vintage toys from the 80s, which uh, I really love. <laughs> and uh, hey, Herb, thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing again. Um, so uh, yeah, before I forget, go ahead and share this live stream. Uh, it's going to help us out. Um, you can you can share on any uh, toy group. Um, so to, to give you an idea where to share, uh, we are we're going to do some Marvel. Uh, we're going to go over, um, you know, some random things too, but these are like vintage toys. Uh, we've got some Exo Squad back here, um, and then we're going to get into uh, what I'm kind of excited about here, which is Battleship. We've got an original Battleship here we're going to play with in a minute, uh, and then Mad Scientist. So I don't think there's groups for those. Maybe there's like vintage board groups, uh, board game groups, but uh, I don't know of any. <laughs> hey, hey, Rimmer, thanks for watching. Uh, hey, so um, go ahead, share it a bit some more, and then I'm going to kill time for about five minutes, and then I'm going to jump right into all the Marvel items we have here, and then I'm going to jump into the, uh, I think we have three very unique items that we're going to talk about today, uh, which... Whew, I don't think I've ever had these out in the store before. Um, <laughs> I think because uh, it's a little complicated to explain what they are, and people want to demonstrate what it's supposed to do, and it takes a lot of time and a lot of little pieces, uh, and it's just too much of a pain. But for you guys today, since I got nothing better to do, I will. <laughs> I will demonstrate. <laughs> hey, Israel, thanks for watching. Uh, <laughs> I gotta get your order order packed. <laughs> We're out the door. <laughs> hey, so, um, anyway, uh, just want to let you know, uh, we are gonna launch into some really cool stuff here in a minute. A couple Marvel items that we, uh, just kind of rediscovered, like the giant, uh, Mandarin here. He's a chromed out Mandarin, too. I've never seen this before. It's kind of neat. But it's not, not like it's very expensive. Uh, this thing is 20 bucks. Uh, so, well, that's what we're selling it for. Maybe it's worth a thousand bucks. I don't know. Dude, we don't look this up. <laughs> I should know better. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'll give you a quick view of the store while we're killing time here. I'm going to flip around the camera. You can see we have a whole toy store here uh, called Toyzilla. Uh, we have some of our coolest stuff usually in this case here. Um, we've done full Gundam episodes, and I just found a couple more, like, vintage Gundams, uh, but it wasn't, like, enough to do a whole episode on, so I'm not gonna do it, uh, but they're pretty cool, uh, this is a brand new sealed Gundam, uh, RX-78, which is, like, you know, that very classic Gundam, uh, it's a big set, too, it's only $60, I don't know if that's right, I should look it up, it might be, like, several hundred dollars, uh, but, you know, if someone wants to buy it, shh, go for it. Uh, then there's some really big Gundams here. Um, Deluxe Edition. Completely sealed. Yeah, these came out in the U.S. Uh, 2000. Yeah, so almost, almost about 20 years ago. Pretty cool. We have those Gundams we just discovered. There's two of them there. That one's 35, that one's 40, but yeah, we'll, we'll maybe we'll do another Gundam episode at some point, and I'll bring those out. Uh, this is a more recent uh, uh, Gundam. It, it's from that robot line, uh, the Unicorn Gundam, and these are all toys, not, not model kits. Anyway, I don't know. I got distracted there. Okay, this is our toy store. <laughs> we got Legos, we got video games, we've got uh, Transformers, we've got uh go bots over here a couple not many uh but uh yeah <laughs> power rangers lots and lots of other stuff uh we're hoping we're gonna get to reopen the store uh maybe this month uh but it might just be for like a couple days we'll see 
Um, anyway, uh, I'm killing time. If you are watching this video and you're like, why do I not see any battleship? Jump ahead like five minutes and we'll start. Um, anyway, so yeah. And we, we saw the games and magic cards and Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And uh, maybe we'll do an episode on just the cards if you guys need cards. Some of these are hard to sell, like Vanguard... It, it's popular in certain areas. In other areas, nobody wants it. Uh, same thing with the Skylander cards. Um, Magic is like consistently good. Pokemon's almost always good. Uh, card sleeves, yeah, I could only sell card sleeves. Uh, Monsuno did not really pick take off. Uh, Yokai Watch did not take off. Okay, I think I killed enough time here. Uh, I, Israel wants a Gundam already. <laughs> okay. Ah, I wasn't even trying to sell that. Okay, cool. But, uh, all right, that's all the time we have for wandering around the store. Now we're going to focus on a couple items that we are doing today. So it's Marvel Monday. Okay, I don't know what Barbie has nothing to do with that, but... Okay, so here here is a really cool sell that uh, we had some sells on a previous episode. Uh, I found two more. Uh, that we didn't talk about. So I'm just going to throw them in right here. The first one is this Bishop Cell. Uh, which it... Uh, man, that's just a cool pose. Uh, really cool pose. So uh, Israel didn't get it. So you guys have a shot at it. <laughs> yes, who's the new best customer now? Uh, so the line art on this is exquisite. Um... And, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see all the shading on there, everything else. And here's one thing I think Israel didn't know. This is the end shot. It's like the last shot in the sequence. Uh, so that means that it's actually a key pose, and it's actually, like, the best drawing. Usually it's the best drawing, because <laughs> it might be, like, a hold pose, or it might just be an end pose. Uh, but when they did the X-Men animated series in the 90s, uh, and they were doing uh, Days of Futures Past. Uh, this was like a very rare scene. And this is a hard character to find a sell of. Um, and looks freaking awesome. So the more I look at it, the less I want to sell this thing. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> anyway. Oh, uh, uh, Steven's asking about Transformers here. Uh, yes, lots of Transformers. Nothing really new. So I'm not going to show anything today. Uh, but you can go back to our earlier episodes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, what are we selling this for? I'm going to say $80. That's a good price for an end shot, especially. I uh, could probably sell that for a lot more. Uh, <laughs> but um, anyway, well, I'm not going to dwell on that. Uh, this one you've probably seen before. This is not the actual cell. Someone must have separated the cell from the drawing. Uh, but you can see by the number what frame it is of the sequence. Uh, this is my girl Rogue. Can't touch that. <laughs> you don't want to touch her. Uh, she will steal your powers. Uh, this is $35, so a lot less expensive than if you if we have the cell. Uh, but it's just the line art. And you could make your own cell. It wouldn't be authentic, but you, you could. Um, cool. <laughs> yes, Christine's talking about the, the 90s X-Men theme song. do 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 do, 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 do. Okay, what is this? This is probably the rarest thing we have here. Uh, this I just found recently. It is... Who is that? Who is that? That is uh, Cable himself. A really cool shot of him. Uh, but what's even cooler... Um, <laughs> Israel's already... Israel's like, I'll take it! <laughs> All right. Well, okay, it was over $100, uh, but the reason why it's so cool, I'll just tell you, you can't buy it anymore because Israel is too quick on it, uh, is it has an original background. So this is an original hand-painted background, uh, which there's only one background for, say, every, like, oh, man, probably every thousand cells, I'm going to say. Maybe at least every couple hundred cells, there's only one original background. So that's why this is pretty cool, but also it's just a really good shot of the character. Uh, and yeah, Mr. Cable is pretty popular now. I mean, people like him. He was in the Deadpool movie. Okay, uh, that's it for cells. 
All right, moving on. Uh, I think I mentioned this guy already, but here is the Mandarin, 10 inch tall Mandarin. Uh, let's see what kind of condition. It is completely sealed, never been opened, uh, sealed on both ends. Really good condition box. Uh, yeah, really good window. $20 for the Mandarin. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I think what they did with Toy Biz was they took the smaller figures and they just blew them up. Um, oh, end shot. Okay, that's, okay. I understand what you're saying. Oh, man. Okay, so Israel wants, uh, just to be clear, Israel bought this guy. Uh, this guy is still up for grabs. So if you want to buy that, 125 If you want to buy that now, you are out of luck. Okay, and you, you can still buy this guy, this girl, I should say, right here, which I think for 35 is pretty good. Honestly, this is all I can find from X-Men. Uh, it used to be easier to get that art, but it's impossible now. I, man, I blame Disney Plus, because they, they are putting all these Marvel shows on, and all the kids are getting into it. So the prices of that stuff is just getting higher and higher. Iron Man is on that show, um, is on Disney Plus too. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I think the Iron Man figures are gonna make a comeback, too. Um, I don't know how much this originally cost, probably, I think the price tag is on there, but I, I'm not selling for much more than it originally cost, anyway. Uh, that's Mandarin there. Okay, no more time on you. Let's move into something that just came in yesterday. Uh, there is a new line of Marvel... Uh, Legends figures, Gameverse figures, and these are from the Avengers video game. Uh, now, I saw that video game at E3, um, and it blew me away. Uh, it's just like, you know, if you are expecting the original actors, it's not the same. Um, oh, sorry, let's see. S Steven's asking me about Bug... Not sure what bug you're talking about. Bug? Is that a character? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Clarify! <laughs> um, or maybe it's something we'll get to. But uh, anyway, uh, this is... this is We just got... It's $25. It's part of the Abomination Build-A-Figure line, but it doesn't come with any of the parts for Abomination. Because guess what? We had a set of these figures that just came out, and... One of our customers was way too quick and bought it before I could even show this on our live stream. So, gone. The only thing we have left is Captain America. So, uh, anyway. <laughs> 25 bucks. All right. And I, I showed this on the last one, uh, but just to make sure, this is Marvel. It's not DC. Marvel uh, Superhero Secret Wars uh, Decoder. Uh, it's so... I think it's actually kind of rare because I didn't see this decoder wheel with any other sets. Uh, I'm sure that pen is dried up. Um, the shields are are kind of a cool, unique thing of um, a Secret Wars anyway. So, um, but we don't have much for Secret Wars. So we have this, and we have the Doom Roller, and that's it. So if anyone wants to see Doom Roller, um, I'll show you at the end. Okay, all right, now this is something that <laughs> I'm going to sell a little bit below cost because I don't know why no one wants this. Uh, okay, so D23 came out uh, this last year. Um, it, first of all, the convention is only once every two years. Uh, Black Panther did amazingly at the box office, um, but then this doll set... Uh, I don't know why, but it did not instantly sell out. Um, it was expensive. It was a two-pack. Um, uh, T'Challa and Shuri. Uh, and, yeah, they are dressed in the robes. Okay, I think maybe the reason it didn't sell out is because he's not dressed as Black Panther. That would be my guess. He's just kind of in his, uh, his regular robes, street clothes. Uh, but it's a really nice doll set. Um... I mean, it's about, you know, I guess Barbie size, but remember, these are premium dolls, so, like, the you know, they're articulated. Everything moves. Um, I believe the knee joint moves, too. I'm going to have to double-check on that, but uh, this is straight out of the movie. 
Uh, I mean, they look awesome here. Looks just like the actors. Um, and how much did this cost? I got the original price tag still there. It was $129.95. Oh, plus tax. So here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to <laughs> I'm gonna sell this for $129.95, the U.S. price. Uh, but I will not charge tax because, you know, well, we're not, the store is not open anyway, so we don't charge tax right now. Um, but, I mean, it's a great doll set, so come on, consider this. Consider this. Disney exclusive D23. <sighs> yeah, it's expensive, I know. <laughs> okay. Alright, moving along. Uh, I don't, people, people know I don't have much Jurassic Park. Uh, but this was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive that did extremely well. Uh, it's selling for about $60 online. I'm selling it for $40. Uh, you can see what it is because I opened the front doors up. Uh, yes, this is going back to the original Jurassic Park. You can see the little uh, baby dinosaur being born there from the egg. Um, it's just a really cool set from Jurassic Park, uh, that they never made, and they, they should have made this, I mean, it's, let me double check what year it is, it should be, yeah, this 2019 San Diego Comic-Con, I just remember going to Mattel every day, and this thing just selling out, uh, and I believe this is my last one, so, <laughs> grab it while you can, hey Adam, thanks for watching, and Danny, Cool, cool, and uh, yeah, so has nothing to do with Marvel, but there you go. Okay, and then this, this is cool because uh, we have the very first uh, Spider-Man pop, uh, and it's signed by Neil Adams, and you're like, well, who's Neil Adams, and why would he sign this? He, not only did Neil Adams work on Spider-Man, on the original comic book, but he worked on... Oh, he worked on so many other series as well, from Batman, uh, Superman. Uh, he he basically, I think he created Ra's al Ghul from Batman. He he is just a phenomenal talent, and um, this is a very old pop, and I had him sign it. Uh, so I don't know, it's it's priceless. Let's just say, <laughs> but uh, I should have put a price tag on it. Ah. Silly me. Uh, let's just say it's fifty dollars. So that's pretty reasonable for pop in perfect condition. That's autographed by Neil Adams because uh, I he charges like sixty dollars. I think to sign if you can even get him to sign anything, and you can't because uh, there's no conventions right now. Okay, so I'm just checking if anyone wanted to look at anything better. Uh, this is another note for me that we're gonna do a full Exo Squad episode. Uh, so I'm not selling these right now. I'm going to um, just because I've got like probably 10 more Exo Squad um, figures. Uh, these are all like sealed in the box. These are from the 90s. Uh, very, very cool. You know, what the heck? If you want to buy them, go ahead. It's $50 for this one, which is uh, Phaeton with uh, Command E frame. And this one is General. Draconis with the um, interrogator E-frame. They're both uh, $50 each. Yeah, why not try to sell something, huh? If you guys want to buy it, feel free. But we'll do a full episode on Exo Squad later. Um, how much was this when it came out? It was $15 at FAO Schwartz. Okay. Still has the price tag. Okay, so now, now we're going to get into the stuff I was actually excited about. You sunk my battleship. Yes. Who remembers this? <laughs> oh, Kat's asking about the COA. Yes, I'll, I'll do a COA for that Spider-Man pop. Uh, it's not a problem. I got it signed myself from Krusty Bunker. Okay, this is Electronic Battleship. This is the original from 1982 Milton Bradley. Um, now, this one is incredible because this is the version that I grew up with. It's not the one I had because I didn't actually have one of these as a kid. Uh, but it is like a really, I mean, here's the thing. 
it's probably been used once or twice. All the parts are there, including the code book and instructions, all the little explosion pieces, and uh, all the miss pieces. So basically the way this worked was uh, you would try to guess where the other player's battleship is, um, and then you would uh, try to you know punch in the code here, try to sync it. Okay, so what does this thing normally sell for? Um, this can sell anywhere up to close to $100, but usually it's not in great shape and doesn't have everything. Uh, this one we're selling for just $50, um, but I'll, I'll get you more interested because I'll show you every how good the box is. Um, the box on this is incredible. Um, it's sealed completely on this side. Uh, no problems with it, no dents or dings, a little bit of wear there, uh, but otherwise great. Um, and does it have the inserts? Yes. Uh, whew. Hard to do this with one hand, but okay, let's see. Let's get it open. So it, does, it didn't need tape on that end to seal because uh, the, the sl pieces just slide in. This is what keeps it all hard in the case and protected is this interior piece of cardboard and normally people throw that away uh, but this came from someone who is obviously a collector and he kept it in amazing shape uh, he knew to take the batteries out <laughs> this is where the I take this off so you can see that's a battery cover and let's see if you do this correctly you can take off the battery cover yeah, there we go. Okay, I just put some brand new batteries in. But, uh, yeah, there was no corrosion. Uh, perfect shape. Everything looks good in there. And put that in. Put that in. Boom. Okay. And then here are all the pegs. Okay, I didn't count the pegs. And honestly, I don't know how many pegs it's supposed to have, but there's enough there to play. I don't think any are missing. I don't think any of the battleships are missing on either side. Uh, let's turn this on. <laughs> Hearing those sound effects brings me back. Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay. So you basically would line up... Um, well, first you would you would code in where all your battleships are. Uh, then you would select, you know, a letter and a number and try to figure out if you think the battleship is in that position. And then you'd fire. Let's see. Is that the fire button? I may have to fire on this side first. Let's see. Is that, gonna, is that firing? Obviously, I haven't played this one. <laughs> Let's see. Should fire. Let's see here. Okay, maybe it's because I didn't code in everything. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there. There we go. Okay, now I'm not sure it's going to actually explode anything because I think you have to first code in where the battleship is located. And then after that, you can explode the battleship. So I wasn't here to play a full game for you, because uh, <laughs> that would take a while. Uh, but anyway, uh, so this this whole battleship here is just fifty dollars, uh, as is because um, I mean I I'm not going to count every single one of these pegs for you, uh, or the the ships one two three four five one two three four five I mean ten there should be ten at least that's that's what it looks like on the box so. Seems to work. Box is beautiful. Probably could sell this for a couple hundred bucks. I don't know. $50. That's what we're selling. $50. <laughs> okay. Uh, these guys are $50 as well. Everything on today's show is, is basically going to be $50. It's just a good price I like. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But we're going to have more Exos Squad soon. Okay. I'm going to turn that off because that beeping is annoying me. Okay. 
So what else do we have here? This one, I don't know if anyone has any interest in this. Um, it's Lesson 1. It's an old electronic uh, video technology, the latest technology from the 80s. There's the original price on it, $29.99, which is actually what I'm going to try to sell it for here, $29.95. Maybe it holds up its original price. Uh, you can learn uh, 10 learning activities in one, math, spelling, music, strategy, uh, musical effect, add to the fun of all these activities. Um, where is the year on this? This has to be like early 80s. Um, it's made by uh, Texas Instruments. Let's see. Okay, well... Anyway, look great, amazing graphics. It was made by Nintendo. It'd be cooler than Texas Instruments, but still pretty cool. Okay, I don't, man, I don't see a year on this. Watch me try to throw this together. Okay, well, here. Let's just prove that there's something in this box. Otherwise, it'd be embarrassing. But okay, here we go. Got an original Texas Instruments piece of technology here from the 80s. This is kind of like... An original Apple computer, in a way, uh, which should be in a museum. Uh, but you know what? You can buy this. <laughs> there you go. Original. Look at that. That's definitely 80s design. Look at that. Ooh. What are the other things they made that year? The Talking Whiz Kid. Um, did they make Speaking Spells too? Texas Instruments, or was that another company? Okay, there's the catalog for it. Yeah, this probably does belong in a museum. And... Oh, there, okay, there it is. This is 1980, made in Hong Kong. That's how old this is. Okay, so... Yeah. Oh, it takes a lot of batteries. I don't have that many batteries, so you're not going to get a demonstration of this. Anyway, I think you guys are bored by this, so I'm going to skip... Steven's asking about mask. Um, don't have any mask right now. Oh, mask. Like, the mask or mask M period A period S period K period. Mask we do. We're going to do a lot of mask. Uh, we have a whole mask episode planned really soon. Okay, so that that's cool. And then I'm not going to take it out because I don't have the batteries, but it looks like I, I, I know what happened with this, because I, I know who I got this from. Uh, they did not want to mess with these toys. They only took them out of the box, like, one time and got bored and then put it away. Same thing probably with this uh, battleship. Same thing with the final toy I'm going to show you tonight, which is, I, I think, the best thing here. Uh, give me a second to get this set up. Going to run around to the other side of the table. Oh, I completely forgot we have Barbie. <laughs> uh, we might do a Barbie episode, but these are a giant set of 40 trading cards. Uh, Barbie trading cards. Uh, this came as $5. Um, that's what we're selling for. It came out in 1990. Still sealed. And the packs inside are, are sealed. Comes with a whole bunch of packs in there. 40 bucks. I mean, 40 Trading cards for five bucks. Okay, here is what we're getting into next. Mad Scientist. Yes. Is anyone a fan like me? If I'm the only one, it's sad. But I love this stuff when I was a kid. Because uh, you could grow monsters. You could get bones. You could uh, build on the bones. All kinds of like flesh compounds and you could add blood and ooze and all kinds of crazy crap. Okay, so I think this is the pinnacle of uh, Mad Scientist for me. It's kind of the best set uh, that you could find. And I think I found it in the best condition reasonably you're going to expect to find this in. Uh, since it is a, um, a toy that you would get for, for playing with, you know. So it's usually not um, in, like, amazing shape. 
Uh, but like I said, I found a set uh, from from a collector who was going to keep it and not keep uh, playing with it. So, <laughs> all right. So we have here the Mad Scientist Monster Lab. Make disgusting, gross monsters, then sizzle the flesh off their bones. See, it was it was kind of gross. It, well, in many ways, it was pretty gross. Uh, so, okay. I, I the, the freshness of the ingredients, I can't speak for, but this set, from what I can tell, is complete. Uh, it's got the monster vat, which is here. Uh, it's got the green monster flush compound here. Uh, it's got uh, bones to make two complete skeletons, which is over here. I, I went ahead and I put these guys together because I was kind of bored. <laughs> I just thought they were cool. I wanted to make sure I could form the bones. Where the other guy? He ran off on me. Yeah, there's two of them. Okay, well, there's one. The second one's a bit different, but there is the bones... We even have all the sprues to uh, that the bones came on. Not that you need the sprues anymore. Uh, but pretty cool. Okay, then we have, what is it, uh, living ice over here. Again, I don't know how fresh that is. It, I, I'm going to tell you, it, it's probably no longer good. Uh, we got the secret froth formula for dissolving monsters. Yeah, that stuff is pretty pretty gross but let's look at it here okay here is secret froth formula i put it in bags um but here's the the secret it's actually just baking soda <laughs> okay but whatever it's sealed in the original bag uh and then uh what's the other thing we've got here the powdered monster flesh remover Okay, pretty cool. Uh, what else are we supposed to have here? Uh, Journal of Mad Science, uh, Mad Experiments and Instructions. Okay, let's see if we have that. Hmm. What's that? Maybe that we are missing. I don't know. In the box, no. Okay, so we're missing the journal. Good to know. Good to know. Okay. All right. But we have this really cool poster, which is actually something you're supposed to play with. So, and we have this limited warranty, which I'm, I'm sure is no longer good. Uh, but they say it's safety tested. So, even now, this stuff should still be okay. Uh, so, this kind of told me a couple things about it. Well, the box told me most of the information I needed. Uh, so this was used like one time because I have included the discarded, discarded, uh, formula packets that were used, uh, as well as, like I said, all the sprues for all the bones and pieces it comes with. Um, okay. So what, what do we have here? This is usually what people sell. Because uh, they don't usually have the box anymore or any of this stuff over here or that. Um, but they're lucky if they still have the molds. So it comes with two molds. One over here, one over there. These make uh, the flesh for the faces that go over the bones. So you, you basically will uh, mold that with the flesh compound over the bone. And, uh, yeah, we have both of them. And then, what is this stupid thing here? That is for making, uh, it looks like a golf ball. It's for making the, um, making the texture on, on their bodies. You know, giving them extra texture once you've, like, molded the flesh over them. So, <laughs> and then, and then this is how you dissolve them. So, it kind of goes in there. Usually, this thing is gone. No one has this. Um, I was in the, the process of washing this a little bit better, but, um, but yeah, so you fill that up with this solution that just dissolves the crap out of the monsters. Hey, Jazzy, thanks for watching. 
Uh, so, th yeah, this is vintage 80s toys, and this is as good as it gets. Um, so we, we basically have everything here. In the picture, obviously, it looks a little bit better. Uh, these are the parts that everyone loses, these eyeballs. See these eyeballs? Over eyeballs. One, two, three, four, five, six eyeballs. Uh, the eyeballs are what everyone loses in this set because they're so small. Did we lose them yet? Let's see. Here they are. Okay, so we have some eyeballs still on the sprue there. One, two. And then we have um, three eyeballs over there. Okay, so I thought that was the right number. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, maybe, maybe we're missing one eyeball. Well, we've got five eyeballs. That's more than most people have. <laughs> uh, there are the claws, which are like additional limbs. There is uh, the jaws. Ooh. Uh, there's that mace. Uh, there's the, the extra bones, the axe, uh, the two ears. We have the two ears. We have the two, like, amphibian ears. We got this guy's, um... I'm going to say it's a shell. <laughs> it looks like a turtle. Turtle stomach. Uh, we got the crazy uh, gun there. I think it's a gun. Oh. And then there's another skeleton. I swear I walked around and it's gone now. I'm going to find it. Man. Okay. Well, anyway. Uh, the cool thing is we have the inside of the box. which is Usually most people don't have that. What's the price? I, I know. I'm droning on and on about this thing. Uh, we're going to make it $50. I told you, everything tonight is $50. <laughs> yes, $50 for that cool set. Trust me, I'm going to find the second skeleton. He, I swear he came to life and walked off because I had him over here. I feel like I knocked him on the floor, and now I can't see. Okay, but... Oh, I yeah, he's on the floor. Jeez. Make me look silly. Okay, there we go. We have both skeletons. This one's different, as you can tell. So they made two different uh, faces for the two different heads. Uh, so, th you know, that's the skeleton for this face. This <clears throat> skeleton is for, for like, this face. You know, and then there's a nice slot to put it all in. Uh... And you know what? I'm going to wash this down a little bit more before I put it back in the box, just to make sure it's all clean for you guys. $50 for all of that with the original vintage compounds, sealed in baggies. Okay, Living Ice, do you really want to see what it looks like? Don't worry, it's not, like, gross. It's just... There you go. Okay. It's like jello. Uh, yeah, you want me to stick my finger in there? I will if it makes you happy. But, okay. Yeah, it, okay, it's solidified. It's not coming back. But it's there. You still get some of it. Living ice. Okay, what does the monster flesh look like? How gross is that? Let's see. I mean, not really that gross, actually. It's Okay, it's just a solid block. But that's vintage, you know? It looks like it... What, not much of it was used, and it kind of shrank down over time. And, yeah, I guess it wasn't really nicely sealed, so. <laughs> but it's still there. You still have both of these. And this stuff is brand new. Um, What is this stuff made of? It's citric acid. I'm telling you the secrets. Baking soda and citric acid. You can... You can make life of your own and then dissolve that life like a mad scientist. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I had fun. It still has a uh, limited warranty, too, <laughs> which I'm sure it's not good anymore. But um, yeah, 90 days. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this was. Let's look at the box anyway. Uh, so here's the box completely sealed on that side. Mattel. Bottom of the box is beautiful. Top of the box. Okay, here is the only <laughs> kind of gaping flaw. Someone cut out a uh, something from the box here. 
Uh, but the, it doesn't break up the integrity of the box. The box is still good. Uh, and there you can see uh, your mad experiments, uh, how you're supposed to dissolve everything, put it together, uh, throw it against the wall if you want, bounce it. It's all good. Uh, and yeah, that's what the monster actually looks like if you put it together kind of properly, but... Oh, those are antennas! Okay. I thought they were bones. That's an antenna that goes on top of his head. There's the mace that he carries around. Uh, there's the other guy. Yeah. Pretty cool. It's amazing we actually have all those pieces. Like I said, yeah, we got the two webbed ears, the two antlers... Uh, we got the four claws. The only thing we're missing is one of the six eyeballs. We have five eyeballs. But like I said, that's more eyeballs than most people have anyway, so I think you're good. 24 packets of the froth formula, which is baking soda. Uh, 12 packets of the monster flesh remover. So like I said, we, we have... We have some of it. <laughs> The, what we what was used, I put in this bag over here. That's all the original sprues. So, um, yeah, they kind of kept everything, but then they used it a little. Uh, but anyway, $50 for this, $50 for that, $50 for the... Uh, and it comes with this really cool poster, which I think you could frame that and have a really good time. <laughs> Yes, the poster was actually supposed to be a game. You tear off chunks of the monster's flesh and you throw it, the chunks at the poster, at the monsters and try to hit them. Uh, first player to throw and stick. All six monsters win. So that's how you play. Okay, well, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> uh, I will be back uh, later this week. I'm going to do uh, an Exo Squad episode. I'm going to do a uh, Barbie episode. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have, uh, like I said, a mask episode coming up really soon. Uh, we have a lot of stuff to cover still in this store. I know you think we've covered everything, but we haven't yet. And then sometimes we get new stuff in. Uh, so basically anything you're interested in, let me know, and I'll probably speed it up in the queue if you want the shadow. I don't know if anyone wants the shadow, but, you know, we'll, we'll do the shadow. If so even one person wants the shadow, we'll do the shadow, or if one person wants, say, like, reboot, we'll do a reboot, <laughs> you know, but otherwise, watch the old episode, see what we've already covered. A lot of that stuff is still available. Uh, what else do we have over here? We've got uh, Pound Puppies. Jeez. Uh, we've got oh, more Sailor Moon. We've got uh, Invader Zim here. Miss Bitters. Okay, we got a lot of stuff, so that's what I'm saying. We're not going to run out. Don't worry. Check back with us. We will see you next time. Thanks again.